Hey guys, welcome back, welcome back to our channel. In case if you are new to this channel, means please please subscribe to our channel. Well, now in this video we are going to see the Red Gear A15 gaming mouse. So it's a gaming mouse, and as well as it has a, some of the most interesting features like it has a macro function support. So like it has a multiple fun, it has a multi buttons. You can able to customize each button with the each function, and as well as it has a customizable RGB lighting effects. And let's have a look on how to set up this gaming mouse like the macro function and the RGB lighting and how it's uh, overall looking build quality and on user experience well, now let's unbox this package so after opening so inside you will get the first of all your mouse and after that nothing else is here so the package is actually simple only and inside this cover you will get a some red gear sticker in case if you want to paste it anywhere means you can paste that and now here is the main device the mouse so this is the red gear a15 gaming mouse so these are all the so this is the honeycomb design as per the brand so this is the rgb light customization and as well as other sides also rgb lighting customization and here is also you will get the rgb lighting effect so in this scroll wheel and the one more interesting thing is that so this mouse is comes with the dedicated uh, increase and decrease the dpa switch normally you will get a dpa switch with a single button but it comes with the dual button so when you press this key you will get you will increase the dpa switch when you press this downward key it will actually decrease the dpa switch at the sides also you will get a two different keys and the clicking also very good so as you seen here so the clicking is uh, super good and uh, for a dpa switch also the clicking is good and the scroll wheel so the scroll wheel also smooth only so we, so we can able to smoothly scroll the wheel and the moving on to the left click and the right click so so it is also having that dedicated click on the both the left and right so you can able to click it dedicatedly and at the bottom there is a steel plate and as well as the brand is claims that so there is a gaming sensor as a given so you will able to make the fast motion using the mouse so apart from that so here is the red gear branding logo and moving on to the cable so it's it's a braided cable so as you seen here the cable is looking good and it comes with a usb type a port well now overall this is the overview of this red gear a15 gaming mouse and in terms of connection so this gaming mouse is actually supports in a both laptop and desktop pc and you can able to use whether if you are using a windows or mac based system also well now let's connect this gaming mouse to the system and let's find out how to set up the macro function and the customizable rgb lighting effect well guys now i have actually connected this gaming mouse to this pc first of all as you seen here so this is a total wire length so it has a sufficient wire length then this is the gaming mouse so it is actually comes with a six predefined rgb lighting pattern so you can able to change the lighting pattern right from the software so that is a red gear based software and also one more thing is that you can able to change the function of the each key in this mouse right from this software we can speak about that later on and on one more thing is that so while i am using the mouse so i one thing i actually feel is that uh, there is a misplacement of this side keys so whenever i am holding the mouse like that i have to move my thumb finger and after that i want to access all these keys so that is the one thing and apart from that so you can able to customize the functions for the each key like uh, for this i have actually set up this for the desktop mode so whenever i am pressing this so as you seen here so once i am press that uh, in the desktop it actually goes to the desktop and again goes back to this previous application and also i can able to uh, play or pause the music by just pressing this middle key so i have actually programmed these buttons like this so i'll show you how to do all these things and one more thing is that while using also you can able to use right from the your table surface itself there is a no need of a uh, that uh, mouse pad like that so it is actually seamlessly working and you can able to switch the dpa switch up to 6400 and you can also customize what are all the dpa settings you want right from that software so this is the dpa switch changer so it has a dedicated plus and a minus dpa switch once you actually click on this so the mouse will actually take some time 
and after that it will be activated so present so currently i have changed all the program function like for i didn't use this db switch so firstly initially i have set up the what is the limit i want for the db switch and after that i customized this db switch button with the other function i'll explain all in that software and apart from that in terms of design so it really looks good it's a honeycomb design so the lighting effects are really good as you seen at the back side it's actually looking like a cos back lighting so it's a really looks cool well now as you seen here the rgb lighting effects is really good so the light saturation as you seen here so this red gear gaming mouse has a good light saturation and almost it's having a good brightness so i have already using the zebronix zeb mouse so it is having a some dull lighting but this rgb lighting it's really looks good so the brightness is good and the color saturation it's really good on the visual look you will be really feel better and you will really love it for using the mouse it actually takes some time for the comfortness between you and the mouse because based on the dpa switch you have to adjust the dpa switch so what will be the comfort level for you i have actually set it at the third level so i am using at the dpa switch level of almost 3000 dpa like that but it has almost up to 6400 dpa so based on your comfort level you just change the dpa and at one dp switch level you can easily able to access this mouse very easily and uh, efficiently and one more thing is that this mouse at a great feature so in case if you want to be productive so this mouse will really helpful for you well now let's move on to how to install the software and how to customize this mouse using that software well guys so right from the pc you have to download your files i have given that this mouse driver download link in the description just to download that particular file so once you have downloaded so you, so you will get a zip file you have to extract this after extracted you will get the setup file so just to install the application as per the default windows installation so once you install the just to open that red gear application so this is how the app will actually looks like so on the front side yeah, as you seen here so this is the mouse look and uh, here is the some of the all the six seven buttons so totally this mouse has seven different buttons you can able to customize all the buttons well now look, first of all let's see about the lighting so once you here click on the light option so now it is actually having the led status you can enable or disable like that so once you click on the disable so the mouse will actually so after clicking on that just click on the apply so after that the mouse will light will actually turns off and uh, once you enable just to click on that apply so you can able to switch over that and also right from the mouse also you can able to do that so i'll show you how, how to do that so you can uh, increase the brightness of this mouse uh, whether uh, so full or uh, whether all brightness or off of the brightness like that and you can change the led mode so there are totally a uh, seven six different modes uh, one is a dpa switch mode like it's a dpa uh, dpa based lighting mode means so it is actually the light will actually blinks based on the dpa switch speed and then this is a multi color option so once you click and apply on that so this is how the color will actually looks like so then here is a four seasons so which means it will actually combine a uh, lot more lighting effects so this is a four season lighting effects this effects also looks really cool so like this you can able to make a six different lighting effects so all are a preset lighting effects so you can't able to create a uh, new lighting effects or you can't able to customize the which color you want like that so all these lighting effects are a preset lighting effects so you will have a six preset lighting effects and then so this is the lighting mode and then going on to the advanced mode so here you can able to customize the uh, moving speed and the double click speed and then the rolling so scroll bar uh, this scroll bar rolling speed like that you can able to customize and here is the dpa setting so totally you will have a six different dpa settings so you can able to uh, set a dpa 1 to dpa 6 like that for each dpa settings there is a value you can also adjust the dpa settings value for each dpa 1 2 3 like that and then here is a fire key setting so what is the repeat time interval and the firing interval so it's a base it's for a gaming control now here you will have a two different profile mode is also available for example for office mode and game mode like that you can able to customize that the keys so based on that in case if you are 
doing a office related work means for that you can be able to make some sort of customization and in case if you are going to play a game means you can enter the game mode and in the game mode you can able to customize a different uh, customization for the keys based on the games you are actually playing so now i am let now i am let's explain so how it actually works so here is the first so these are the totally seven keys so for now this is the actual uh, setup so for a left click right click which are all is actually set as it is and for the middle key so the third button i have actually set it for play pause so whenever i'm actually pressing the mid key it actually turn on the audio so, so i am just to play some audio now i so using this mid key i can able to play or pause the music so once i press this the sounds the audio will actually pause it again i am pressing this it actually plays the songs will actually play up so like that you can able to do the customization and the next uh, the, for the fourth key so at the side key this side key i am actually given a my computer so whenever i am clicking on this it actually opens a my computer application and for this key i am actually given a desktop shortcut so whenever i am clicking on this it goes to the desktop mode so it is actually really helpful for me because in case if you are actually feel like shy while you are working means if some other if actually enters your room and if you want to hide your work means you can simply press the press this key so you can instantly go to the desktop mode means so in previous you actually press in the keyboard with the windows plus d option i have actually configured that particular shortcut key with this key so i am whenever i am pressing this it actually goes to the desktop mode and again i am pressing means it again opens that previous application so like this it actually works so it is all the one of the easy customization all this feature is actually available in the red gear gaming mouse and all of this except programmable uh, keys so once you actually programmed the one, one function means so this function will actually works in all the system in case if i am actually removing this mouse and if i am connecting in the other pc also it will actually work so i have actually programmed the functions in my windows based computer and again in case if you are actually remove that mouse and if you connected this mouse in other systems or other operating based system means so there also that particular programmed function will actually work for example now i am actually connected in the mac os based system in the windows based system itself i have actually programmed that so for this key i have set it as for going to the desktop so like that so in the mac also once i am pressing this it actually goes to the desktop mode and and again comes back to the uh, previous application so like that what we have actually programmed in the one computer so once you program the function will always active even if you are connecting in other devices and as well as i have uh, made the function for the this middle key for the play pause so once i am clicking this uh, middle key so it actually start playing the video so as you seen here and again clicking the video will actually pause and one more thing is that during i am doing other work also for example now i am go to the system settings like that so i am actually minimize this uh, youtube window so i am actually working in the settings option so there also i can able to play or pause the music like this so by using the center key itself i can able to customize this so these are all the one of the great features so once you actually programmed some of the function in one device in a one laptop or a pc computer it actually works in any device so in case if you want to reprogram means so in that particular device you want to again install that uh, red gear based software and after that you can again reprogram the function well now in the red gear software as you seen here so this is the software so here is all the seven keys so just click any one of the key so i am going to go to click on the sixth key so i'm just clicking on this key and after that so here is the, all the option so for standard mouse keys in case if you want the sixth key to be a left click or right click or the middle click or back forward like that means you can set that and here is the special keys the special keys is always for the gamers so here is the fire key aim key led mode and led on off and, and key mode switch and key off and gun key function like that so then media keys so here is all the media based key functions are available like play pause stop previous track next track and volume increase decrease like that and web key so here in case if you are going to browsing so in case if you want and in case if you are often browsing means and that in case if you want to go to the forward page or the back page and stop or refresh the particular screen and or in case if you want to go to the favorites of the section like that means so you can able to set that function so whenever you are pressing that a sixth key so with the sixth key is nothing but the dpi forward switch key so whenever you are pressing that key 
key that function will be actually programmed and here is the others so here is a my computer calculator application in case if you are frequently calculate something and often open the calculator application means you can program that application in any one of the keys so that you can easily open that application instantly and then here is a user defined so this is the most interesting part so here you can able to assemble a shortcut for example there will be a one of the famous shortcut like that for you so for me windows plus d is one of the good shortcut so in case if i am actually working in somewhere means so suddenly i want to go to the desktop means i am often press the windows plus d key so for that also you can just click on this windows and after that in your keyboard just press the key what you want so the win plus what the shortcut you want press that key so i want the win plus d key so i have given the win and i want to press the d now the win plus d shortcut has been assembled just click on that confirm now the sixth key this dpa switch open key has been set up for the win plus d so after doing all these things so you have to just click on the apply option so once it got applied from now whenever i am clicking on that sixth key the dpa switch increase key so it will be goes to the desktop mode so like this so again i am clicking wins it again comes back to the previous application just to click any one of the key and you can able to see all these key functions and you can also program any of the shortcut keys and also you can program any of the application or any other uh, so shortcut options like that for their dedicated key you can program any function to a certain key so normally in case if you are not a gamer means so that side key is fourth and fifth key and the dp switch key which, which are all actually idle only in case if you are not a gamer means so in case if you are uh, actually uh, only doing a work related uh, purpose means you can actually customize these keys you can program these keys with uh, some other application for your uh, use case so it has a lot of uh, productivity based features in this red gear a15 gaming mouse well guys now that's it about this uh, red gear a15 gaming mouse so it's actually a budget gaming mouse and as well as it comes with a lot of features and lot of customization and as well as it has having a great design and having a good build quality well now how do you guys like this red gear gaming mouse let me know in the comment section below and if you are already using this gaming mouse means let me know your experience in the comment section below and if you like this video hit the like button and if you are new to this channel means please please subscribe to our channel and that's it for today video and thanks for watching this video guys